Kent County has the second highest rate of emphysema in the state. Emphysema is a severe form of COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and Spectrum Health is now one of the first hospitals in the state to offer a non-invasive treatment to help make breathing easier for these patients. Dr. Gus is an interventional pulmonologist at Health, and he's here to talk more about the treatment called Zephyr Valve System. So how does it work, Dr. Gus? Thank you, Valerie. Um, when we think about um, endobronchial valves, what we're thinking is about providing patients that cannot breathe with a minimally invasive way, without cuts, without bleedings, in order to uh, create um, some sort of environment inside of their chest in which air can go in easier and patients can get that deep, fulfilling breath. In and of itself, when somebody has emphysema for whatever reason, uh, they develop this inability to take deep breaths as the lungs are somewhat destroyed. What we do at Spectrum Health is we run very basic tests to, to find out if somebody could benefit from this in a way that we just put a small or a couple of very small prostheses to effectively shut down the area of the lung that works the least and allows for the areas that work better to do what they're expected to do, which is letting patients go about their lives uh, without getting uh, so breathless. Right. Breathing easier, obviously, always important to emphysema patients. Um, and so it must be beneficial to them to not have to have an incision to have this treatment, that it's non-invasive. And, and, and when we think about the patient journey, uh, usually patient starts in their 40s or 50s with some breathlessness, some coughs, some shortness of breath, some wheeze, most of them smoke or quit smoking. And then they go to their doctors and they get some puffers, they get some oxygen, some pulmonary rehabilitation. When they're getting to the 60s and 70s, then as any piece of machinery, it, uh, the body continues to break down and the lung age becomes a little more than the chronological age. And once they maxed out on the treatment that their primary care and pulmonologists in the area uh, provide them with, then they are left with only two options until valves came as a breakthrough uh, development. They either can get cut open and take the piece of the lung that works the least, or they could undergo lung transplantation. As you can imagine, there's a large amount of patients that they don't want to be cut open. They don't want to spend days and weeks in the hospital. They don't want to take medications for the rest of their lives. And that's where we conceived this trial that was um, uh, completed and approved by the FDA back in 2018, in which we understand that we're here to bridge a gap. Not cutting open, not taking pieces of the lung out. We do everything minimally invasive with bronchoscopes, which is a piece of technology and a scope itself that goes through the mouth in and out. The procedure takes half an hour. It's very simple to do. And uh, we uh, uh, monitor patients for a couple of days in the hospital to make sure there's no complications and the patient go back home and hopefully slowly and steadily in the period of months, they start breathing better. Mm. It's such a breakthrough, it, you know, the technology is giving us for emphysema. So how long does the treatment last? The, the benefit of endobronchial valves, particularly when we talk about Zephyr valves, which is the, the, the name uh, uh, of, of the product, um, it's, it's an implant or, or many small implants that um, one of the benefits is that it's not permanent. The benefits could be permanent if we leave the valves in place, although if for whatever reason, uh, and this happens rarely, the patient is to experience a complication of the procedure, or maybe they don't experience the benefits of the procedure. This is, these valves are removable and the patient can go back to where they were before. So the benefits can be long lasting and permanent if it works, but if it doesn't work or there's a problem, we can always plug them out and there's no permanent implants uh, in the patient. All right. Well, thank you, Dr. Gus, for giving us some insight on how this new treatment works. If you would like to learn more about this treatment for emphysema, I've got that for you on 1300science.com.